welcome to this new chapter of Dynamite, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I just want to kind of give you a, a new level of sort of uh, insight into what's happening at Dynamite, a new level of transparency, and in that effort, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, I mean, it's kind of what brought me to where I'm at. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know about the fact that I used to work at the Museum of Modern Art, that that was where I got the idea for the first magnetic bracelet that started this whole thing. Um, but the, the idea is that um, what what I had experienced in that environment for seven years, where it was a really like, you know, retail type of environment, um, you know, I, I came to that place being coming from a fine art background, I had no idea what retail was about. So I learned a lot in seven years. And I kind of threw myself at every opportunity. Every time there was like, you know, a trade show, I'd be like, I'd go. And I uh, ended up learning a lot in seven years. I also learned a lot of things that I kind of, you know, took lessons that, you know, bigger organizations like MoMA can't really exercise, which is like, you know, the sort of level of transparency and the kind of, um, um, exchanging of ideas and communication, uh, which was, I felt, stifling. So, you know, what I'm trying to do with Dynamite is to create an environment where everybody's ideas are important in, in terms of our employees. And I've mentioned this before in our videos, but I want to be more precise about it, which is, um, it's not just like people, you know, it sounds like everybody coming out and saying whatever they want about anybody's position or what they do or whatever, but that um, the importance is that people are, that there be uh, an open channel for communication. Um, that, you know, you never know when the person who packs boxes is going to have the next big idea. And um, if you don't create the opportunity for that, you're not going to, um, you're not going to have that. Um, and. I think it's very typical in most organizations that people, you know, go into them and they, th they have this sort of attitude of like, you know, I'm the professional and I'm going to advance my career and um, that, you know, that works in probably most institutions, but in an entrepreneurial environment like Dynamite, I don't want that. Like I want, I want people who are ready to get down and, 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 you know, put this stuff out on the table and work it out, like get through ideas and because, you know, if you're that pr just stone hard professional that's just going to keep driving your your agenda, you're actually stifling everyone else from communicating and you're not aiding, you're prohibiting communication. And so it's like, there's, you know, it's an important part of like the this new stage of Dynamite, which I've been kind of hinting at. Uh, and this video is part of that, like being more transparent, not just here, but in terms of myself and my relationship with my employees. And um, and it's hard, you know, because I think it's not something that people are used to. People are, they want to, I mean, for God's sakes, I went to art school and they used to call me the ghost of the painting department because no one ever saw me. I would like literally like just go off in the corner and paint and I would leave and go paint in my own studio and I was like such an introvert you know like even when I did my first trade shows like I didn't even have my name in the catalog that was how like it was it was you know like I didn't believe that anyone would want to know who I was um and also like I didn't think that if they saw my name they would be like who's Terrence Kellum I never heard of that designer um, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, and now, um, after all these years, you know, of being on YouTube and, and having, um, you know, have this experience of being more transparent, um, it's taught me a lot, you know, like, I think the good fortune that we had to have that viral video was just, was, was the one-off, but the true success and the true um, value that we got was that it taught me a lot about um, about branding, it taught me about cr crafting a message, but it also taught me about being transparent. And even though in the early stages I don't think I was ever as transparent as 
um, as I thought I was. Like, you know, I would let little... Okay, so I ran out of memory card storage. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, I wouldn't let... Oh, so I would, like, if I misspoke or something, I would just um, let that roll and... But it was, you know, I, I even recognized then that that, that, that level of authenticity of, of being, you know, sort of real about filming and what I was doing was, uh, you know, the people would get it. They would understand, wow, this guy's not faking it, I'm not reading a script, I'm not, I'm just doing it, you know. And uh, so that was, uh, it's a huge um, lesson. And I think what I'm, what I'm trying to do, at least what I'm attempting to do now, is to take that lesson to another level um, of transparency and um, and and implement that not just in terms of what we're what I'm doing here on YouTube but um, but also as a team and sort of you know to create that sort of level of transparency and um, openness of communication and that's that's hard to do you know it's hard to challenge um, it's hard to challenge other people in a place of work because it's just not natural like uh, and yet that's kind of what I want to do I want to address the sort of fear of conflict that I think is natural in some ways to most workplaces you want to protect your job you want to be you know and, and not provide you most institutions can't afford this type of thing they they're just not either the managers are not flexible enough or they're not smart enough or they don't have the know how to manage it and they're afraid of it too and so they don't they don't want people sharing ideas because it's it's too much to manage um, but in my case I really do want to institute this and so I'm going to try to um, you know be as transparent as I can about that process but one of the things I'm trying to do um, very soon is to address this sort of fear of conflict and try to give people tools that we can talk about com like disagree in a way that's productive you know and challenge each other and not let it be the end of the world that you can still buy into the person's idea or hopefully you can challenge that person person's idea to a level that they'll um, buy into your idea I don't know but um, you know I don't know some of you might think this is like really wishy-washy um, but to me, it really is about being good at business, and that is, um, you know, pulling all the resources of your team and using everybody effectively. And I think most organizations don't work that way. Um, one of the things I've always said in Dynamite is that, you know, we're innovative not only in our product but the way that we do our everything in our business, and that's, I think that's true and I want to make it even more true in a way that we communicate and we interact so anyway welcome to this new chapter of Dynamite and I hope you enjoy it I'm gonna try to be as transparent as I can and uh, you know be as honest as I can with some of the, the emotions and some of the uh, challenges that I'm facing and not be so glossy with uh, the realities um, so, if you have any questions, any things you'd like to know, leave them in the comments below, and I'd love to address them. Um, I have some exciting things coming up this week, and uh, I'm probably going to go to Inc. Magazine to visit that. I'm not sure how much of that I'll be able to show, but maybe there'll be some news. I also visited uh, TED Talks this week, and maybe we'll be doing a Mighty Wallet uh, as an insert in the gift bag for the upcoming uh, TED Talks next year. And so a lot of exciting things um, on the plate. Be mighty.